Over the past few months, Reddit Ads has announced a couple new product updates and features. These new announcements will make campaign management more effective, but most importantly, a few of them will make campaign management a lot more efficient, especially when you're creating new campaigns and ad groups. So this video, we will talk about those three announcements that happened in Q1 of 2022. The first update in Reddit ads I'm going to cover has to do with some of the targeting capabilities. And this new feature was introduced a couple months ago. You can see I'm in a new campaign setup and most likely this targeting change would benefit the app installs campaign objective. But as we go through it, you may think of ways it could benefit your campaigns. So let me just click continue and get to the ad group settings. And here's where we get most of our targeting options. I did already create a video going through Reddit ads targeting options and most of it is still pretty accurate. So you can check that one out here. But for this new update, we need to scroll down a little bit until we get to the devices section. Before this update, advertisers can only reach users on Reddit based on the operating system of their phone. Now, if we look at specific device types, iOS is currently selected. We can go minimum iOS version. Those are all the options, including a no minimum. And then if you want, you can look at choosing a maximum iOS version. If I go and switch over to Android, you can see it's pretty much the same thing, but just with the Android selections. Now, besides just reaching users based upon an operating system, you can now choose specific devices. If I scroll down a little bit, we see we have a lot of options. And these are just the main categories. If I scroll down a little bit, let me expand a few of these. Because now these devices aren't just phones. They do include specific wearables. We see if I choose an entire category, it will add every specific device model to my targeting. And if I want to remove one of them, you can do that. So if I expand the Nokia one again, it will then show me just the subcategory options that I have chosen. Now, besides just the device targeting capabilities, Reddit has also introduced carrier targeting. And as of right now, the carrier settings are only available in the US, the United Kingdom and Canada, but they do plan to expand it globally at some point. So just head over to the carrier field and there's only a few options for each. Under the United States, you get AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and they have Sprint there, but Sprint is now part of T-Mobile. So I'm not sure if that one's still gonna be pretty accurate. UK has EE, Vodafone, O2, 3, Sky Mobile, BT Mobile, Talk Talk, and Virgin Mobile. In Canada, we'll have Rogers Wireless, Bell Mobility, Virgin Mobile, Bell BTS, Shaw Mobile, and Telus Mobility. We see with the devices that I selected, plus the carrier, such a weird combination. Not something I would do. I just picked one just so you can show you how it works but we do see how specific we can get. So if you do have a particular app that only works on certain devices that potentially needs to meet a minimum operating system level, you can now control that. So you're only showing your ads to the proper users who can actually use your app. It's a smaller update, but it is catching up to some of the other ad platforms. Now let's hop into the second product update. The second new feature I wanna talk about is going to be the audience manager. To find that, go to the dashboard dropdown and there you will see audience manager. In this demo account, we don't have any audiences created already, but if you do, any saved audience that you made within the account will be stored here. But not only will your stored audiences be here, you can go and create new audiences to save in your library. If I click on the new audience button, we can create Reddit audiences or retargeting audiences based upon your pixel. Let's look at a pixel audience first. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because we do have another video about Reddit retargeting and you could check that one out here. So first you would go up and just name your pixel, then choose specific pixel events. There's your look back window here. Some of the new device targeting options that we just talked about are included. And this is of course, assuming that you have the pixel on your site and it's running. So page visits within the past 90 days within this demo account is 1.1 K to 1.3 K. So I could submit this audience and there we see we have a pixel retargeting audience created. Let me go back up and now let's create a Reddit audience. A Reddit audience is pretty much looking at the targeting options that are available when you're creating a new ad group. Think about how you can save audiences in Facebook or LinkedIn. If you're gonna to try to target the same audience over and over in multiple campaigns in the future, you can now create that audience and save it later so you don't have to recreate it every single time you're building a new campaign or ad group. So I went ahead and named mine. I'm just gonna choose one interest just to keep it moving. And this is a really simple one. Probably would be easy to recreate every single time but now these audiences are saved. After it's saved, we'll see the status, probably more important for the pixel one, just to let you know that it's tracking. The Reddit audience is still building, but we will see the size after it's done collecting. And if I move back over to the name, 
I can go back in and edit it if my target audience has changed in any way. I can duplicate it if I just want to make little tweaks to test new audiences against each other, or if it's not valid anymore, I can delete the audience. So now let's go back up to the main screen. I'm just gonna go in one of my current campaigns and let's create a new ad group. I'm fine with the current campaign. Now, instead of creating a new audience, we'll just need to slide over to saved audience, click on the drop down, and there we see the two audiences that we saved in the audience library. So I would just choose whichever one I wanted and then continue with the campaign creation. If you're using the same audience in several ad groups and you go back up to the audience library and start editing a particular audience, it will make the changes to all of the ad groups that are using the saved audience. So that is where potentially duplicating an audience and only updating the ones that you want to match specific ad groups would be the better route to go. And now let's go into the third and final new product update that we're going to discuss in this video. In the same dropdown that we use to find audience manager, we're going to find post library. Very similar to audience manager because in post library, here's where you can view the posts that you have made, manage all of your ad posts and create new ones all within the same screen. So here's the ad I created when we first talked about the carousel ads in Reddit when they were new. You can see when I highlight over it, it gives me all the components of that ad. Now I selected it, I can choose to duplicate it, make all the edits that I want to, maybe just swap out a few different creatives to test against each other. Maybe you want to use the same creatives, but test a different landing page, different call to action, different thumbnail image. There we go. Just one simple call to action change. And then I could submit this. So there we see, I have a new ad variant very quick. Instead of duplicating an ad, I can look at creating a new one. It's writing in a simple headline. Maybe I want to create a video ad, drop in a video file, make this video GIF if I wanted to. So it just keeps looping. There's a custom thumbnail. There's my destination URL. I know I should add parameters to it, but this is just an example. View more, I'm gonna leave comments off, submit. And it's quick enough just to go in and create as many of these as we want. Now, if you're very active on Reddit organically or via an ad, you can choose just to sort between the two different types of posts. And not only that, you can then sort by the ad format. It can make it a lot easier for you to find the ads that you're looking for if you wanna duplicate them. So similar to what we did with audience manager, let's head back to the main screen. I'm going to choose a current campaign. I'm going to choose an ad group, and then we could create an ad. And there, as you're creating a new ad, whether you're editing an ad group or you're creating a new one, you're going to see your post library. So you can proactively go in, get all of your posts ready for an upcoming campaign. Instead of having to create a new one every single time, you can just select the ad that you need, save it to the campaign, and then you can continue this process with however many ad variants you would like to run. And those are the three newest features in Reddit ads. I really love how they're making campaign management and creation a lot more efficient with audience manager and post library. Not only is creation a lot easier, but so is testing. I don't have to manually create a bunch of new campaigns, ad groups, or ads. Easily do them within each of the tools. Copy, make your tweaks, and then push whatever changes live within your current or new ad groups to really find out what's resonating with a certain group of users. We don't have a ton of videos on Reddit ads because they don't release a lot of new features that often, but you can check out the playlist here if you want to learn more about Reddit, if you're new to the channel, but do you have anything else to add to the community about what we just talked about? Let everyone know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to see more from the paid media pros channel, be sure to subscribe.